Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to go over No Chain. It is a Generation 3 blockchain technology. Um, they are in their ICO stage now. I think they have about a week left on their uh, their sale, which is October 1st. Um, it's a dual layer blockchain um, that has, uh, like I said, it's a Generation 3, so the they have a layer for smart contracts um, that works like a regular, like a generation two or one. And then the second layer is an anno layer where all anything can be uh, cryptographically stored to, uh, to be part of that smart contract or part of the first layer. But it, uh, it's, not, it's not the information that's stored or the data that's stored there is uh is encrypted so it's not it's not viewable um so you can make smart contracts a lot more um complex they can do a lot more um you can use the blockchain for things that would be really cool that we've always talked about you know using it for um you know voting and uh, medical records and applications for um you know loans and and jobs so on and so forth but all that you put your personal information there um so on a on, on a generation one or two that, that a lot of that stuff would be visible in the blockchain um with this second anno layer it allows that to be part of that transaction um it's not just you know sending crypto uh back and forth um that information can be in the secondary layer uh, so it's there, and it's part of that um, part of the first layer, but it's not visible to everybody. So it's pretty cool. Um, go over it a little bit here. Um, first off, I want to say thanks for everyone that's been um, watching the videos. Been slacking the last week, but I should get probably three three videos out this week. Um, appreciate the likes. Please hit the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I do try to get out at least one one or two videos a week i work full-time for xbox so it's a little tough but um hopefully i could i could quit that one day um so getting back into uh, no chain um okay i went over it's the third third generation blockchain what they're trying to do is to uh to kind of bridge the gap between real world use case and then a lot of the uh the things that blockchain is used for and a lot of the, the things that that people have talked about it being for and what it could do it's kind of bringing that you know together bring it more into the real world um and real use cases in like everyday everyday life like i said applying for a loan storing your medical records applying for a job and putting your you know personal information and work history and all that um it's a two-layer blockchain that powers uh decentralized they, powers dApps with smart contracts. The no layer is a layer that stores value, transferring transactions of no units. It's uh, governed by uh, a delegate system for like the voting, which they're gonna institute uh, later on. And they use a proof of stake consensus, so it's not a proof of work. So lower energy costs, better for the environment, all that kind of stuff with, uh, with proof of stake. And then the anno layer stores information in smart contracts and real-world data um, as anno units. Um, it's governed by the by ultra nodes, so they do have ultra nodes, master nodes, um, and service ultra node system, allowing proof of authority and consensus. So it runs on uh, proof of stake and proof of authority. The do have the white paper. It's about 35 pages. You can read over it. I'm you should always do your own research. Not financial advice. Not a financial advisor. Like I said, always do your own research. Um, but you should check it out. Check out the white paper. Uh, basically, like I said, it operates through the, uh, the users, delegates, and the ultra nodes. It achieves consensus through uh, proof of stake and through the uh, the, the ultra nodes. Um, 
this is just showing some of the, the, the problems, slow performance. I think they're up to, they're going to have a, I think 100,000 or 100,000, I think it's 100,000 uh, transactions per second. Just going about like uh, Ethereum's like 20 uh, transactions per second. IBM blockchain, which is, I believe, just Stellar, 1,000, Ripple's 1,500. Um, what is Bitcoin? 10? 7? Something like that. Uh, so, it's a, I mean, it's, a, it's a good amount of uh, TPS. Um, one of the big things about uh, proof of work is, like I said, the, the negative environmental impact, the huge electricity costs, and all that kind of stuff, which proof of work gets rid of all that um, the size of the blocks um, the gap of the real world like I said they're just kind of trying to bring a lot of that stuff into the uh, into the from the blockchain into the real world uh, real world companies and customers are working on visible contracts that are there to be seen they're not just for AI or for uh, um, for something to be executed their actual real contract with people's identities and they're certified to make sure that they keep the obligations with each other. Um, they're guaranteed by law and by governments. Um, employees use their real names, their profiles to apply for job, uh, vaccines for patients and like, you know, medical records, all that stuff I, I, I touched on. Um, because of that, there have been limitations on how blockchain can power real life applications for the real world. So this is, like I said, trying to to bridge that gap to where um, to bring blockchain into the mainstream, um, which everyone says, you know, it's the blockchains of technology of the future. But because of the limitations of uh, generation one or generation two, it wasn't really feasible for a lot of things. Um, with this coming out, they're hoping to fix that to make it so it is feasible to, to move into all aspects of technological life. Um, the anno layer, uh, went over, um, it's a, it, en it enriches the blockchain. So it just, it adds a second layer so you can put more stuff on, um, adding a secondary layer. It can store anything as information to the senders, the receivers, information about the transaction, identification, an appendix, uh, attached to the transaction, any, so pretty much anything they can put it on there. Um, User interact on chain, uh, privacy and utilities. Just talks about how usually, if you want to get um, more utility, you have to give up some of your privacy. Uh, also goes over a lot of like you know, social media sites where you you know have a lot of access and you can get a lot done, but they sell your your information, and how this would would stop that. Um, uh, no chain solves the problems by bringing the mutual information of users uh, from many places into the blockchain first, allowing the users to reuse their data and control the privacy of them. Uh, it also helps protect user rights and you own your own data so you can monetize it if you want to, rather than having like a company monetize it like uh, like Facebook. Energy saving went over with the with the proof of work um, instead of the uh, the proof of stake. Uh, low fees, they do have a set fee of 0 0.01, uh, no, which is very low. I think there's only a penny for one, so that would be one-tenth of a penny. And that's a fixed rate. Um, yeah, it's 100,000 transactions per second, so it is pretty darn fast. The delegates and ultranode system, that's how the proof of stake works on the ultranode and the delegates, uh, is there anything on here? But they're going to bring in that uh, voting for the delegates later on down the road. I'll look at the roadmap and we'll figure that out. They have the no app that is coming out. Um, basically, anyone that has a smartphone and internet connection can take part in the global marketplace. It's going to have a wallet, explorer, file manager, delegate registration, ultra node registration, all on the phone. It's coming out on iOS, on Windows desktop and on Android. Wow, I forgot what Android was. Total supply tokenomics is 7.8 billion, about. No. Um, like I said, it's a penny each. Got about a week left in the sale. 
There's the address. It's a minimum investment is really low. It's only a 0.1 Ethereum, which is sad to say very low because <laughs> Ethereum's down to I think it's like 230 today. Um, token distribution. You really got to look through this because it looks it looks bad when you first look at it because they but they did kind of move things around here. Um, ICO token sale is 50%, which is too low, but that's not really all the tokens that are going out. 20% to the team, pretty standard. There's also a 15% to pre-sale, so that actually should get added to the 50, to the 50%, so that's 65. Um, and then a 5% private sale, so it's actually 70% instead of 50. Advisory and team and reserve is only 5%. And then there's a bounty and an airdrop. So there, that's more tokens that are going out to the public. So the actual tokens that are going out to the public in sale or airdrops or whatever is 75%, not 50%. So it's a lot better than when you're first looking at that uh, one blue block. Um, the use of the proceeds from the ICO are pretty good. Uh, the marketing is huge, which, man, I usually... I'm hoping for 15%. They're putting 45% of marketing and partnerships. Um, that is massive, especially for 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 what it is. Um, that's usually the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest mistake any kind of uh, technology first kind of thing um, project. They 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 don't they don't worry about marketing, and they have a a great a great project and a great great plan, um, but nobody knows about it because they didn't. A lot anything for marketing um, not here they're putting 45 percent of that 30 percent for development administrative costs are low only eight percent uh, user incentive and then a foundation fund of nine percent so they are putting putting their money uh to definitely i think really push the 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 project forward in uh in terms of their two biggest biggest things is uh marketing and then and development Roadmap, where are they going to do? Uh, November, they're going to develop the Anno Layer and will be released. The integration of the No Layer and Anno Layer together, start the, then start the delegates in uh, Q1 of 2019. Testnet will be in May. And Mainnet swap uh, July. So what is that, Q2 of 19? Um, they're going to swap the... the the, the the tokens from now to the uh, the mainnet tokens um, whenever the uh, that net go, the main net goes live the team pretty big team uh, pretty good team should be heavy on the tech is what I was looking for and it is uh, the CEO not heavy in tech but heavy in business and he went to the University of Leipzig in Germany. Um, then the CTO, he, he has a, a bachelor's or master's from, uh, the University of Technology in Saigon. Same with this guy. Um, this guy, the lead smart contract, he is a rock star. He is, I think he, he's been, he's actually a speaker. Or uh, he is a professor at uh, at his university. Um, and he has, a, he has a, a good work history. Let me look at it real quick. Because I forgot. I'm sure my internet's going to run really slow because I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, he's a lecturer at uh, University of Information and Technology. Oh, for five years, three months. Uh, assistant lecturer and lecturer, Solidity developer, and he does have a master's degree in computer science and a bachelor's degree. So yeah, I thought he was he, he's a he's a pretty solid fellow. Tons of developers, lots and lots of developers, really really good. One marketing team, but uh, he does the the CEO does have a, a marketing experience. Um, with that giant marketing budget, they probably should add another one. Um, these two guys here, I actually know. I've worked with them. They're smart, smart guys. Um, very on the ball. Uh, they're community team members. I'm sure they do extra work because they're 
They're really hardworking guys. Uh, advisors look good. Um, partners, what is their? They got a uh, FAQ. One thing you know, I always look for if you watch my videos is an easy way to contact them. It's just a, a little bit more transparent and makes me feel a little bit more at ease. They do have an email. Now, the Telegram link is here in the contact. There's also a Twitter, but the Telegram is up here. If you go down to all their uh, social media, I mean, they have the Twitter here, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, Bitcoin Talk, and Medium, but there's no Telegram link here. So when I first scrolled down there, I thought that was weird, but it's actually up here. So to join their Telegram, you click there. Uh, that's basically no chain in a nutshell. Um, now it, it's pretty simple what they're what they're wanting to do, what they're gonna what they're what they're they're planning on doing. Um, it's it's revolutionary and it, it is like the next step in blockchain technology. Uh, I'll try to to now explain it a little bit, which is where it gets a little technical. Um, not technical, it's just a little hard to 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 word um so first generation blockchains is made up of basically two different it's like peer-to-peer -peer. it's a sender and a receiver and the sender and the receiver don't know anything about each other they don't know who the person is they don't know where the person is they don't know anything about the history of the person nothing all you know is what the uh the wallet is you need you know how much is being sent and then you know the time that it's being sent so transactions like uh, a sends to b in the amount equivalent to x at time y that's it that's the first generation that's peer-to-peer -peer. that's satoshi's white paper that is it that's not that's it which is one of the things that powered dark web and and other things like that because it's it's massive anonymity um which a lot of things that, that this project kind of uh, deals with is that the anonymity of why blockchain was created is actually what's holding it back from a lot of real world use cases and mass adoption. So they're trying to keep the security and still have uh, people's information so that they control their information and who it goes to and who can see it. Um, then second generation came along, smart contracts were developed for like Ethereum. Uh, then A can send X to B at time Y. And then if A and B satisfy the terms and conditions of Z or the smart contract, then the smart contract um, initiates. So you can control the, you have some control over, over that, uh, conditionally of the smart contract and it was you know it's really good for starting up dApps and ICOs and all that now third generation allows you to add that second layer and add more information um, and more uh, more steps and, and uh, a lot more things to the smart contract so you know a can send X to B at time Y and then B can immediately exchange that, that X to M at time Z and send that M to C at time T. So like I said, it's, it's a little confusing, but it's just you're able to add on a lot more steps, a lot more information. It's not really such a simple smart contract. Um, it's a lot more complex and you can put a lot more information into that second anal layer. That is uh, pretty much it. Uh, the, the major issues connecting the crypto world to the real world, the nature of the transactions, the crypto world says the anonymity, um, but the transactions are in the real world. So they need to be identified from the identification of senders and receivers and the terms and conditions of the transactions are in the real world. Banks require clients to provide like full information about themselves when they're using their services. Um, and then uh, blockchains bring this advantage to the real world. Now, and that's what no chain is gonna do. Like I said, they're trying to bring 
the anonymity to keep a lot of the anonymity from blockchain, but bring it into more real real world use cases. Uh, looks pretty cool. Read over the white paper. Check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down in the uh, in the comment section, and I will get with the uh, team on it and get back with you, or I'll answer it if I know. Um, hit the likes. I appreciate it. Uh, head over to their Telegram, and you can ask there. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.